No more second chances. No more mistakes. This is it for Ben Polson. Nine obstacles between him and stage two. The buzzer sounds and Ben Polson's three minute, 45 second experience gets underway. Now this man says he can get up Mount Midoriyama. He said he is the fittest he has ever been. So if it's going to be any time, it is going to be this year. Survives the rolling log. Ben Polson gives the head a shake. Now he's got to pick himself up. And another shake. He's got the diving boards next. He does the turn. You've got to make sure you've got your balance before you start doing the diving boards. Is he fully recovered, Croft? That's the question. Straight through the diving boards. With poise. Now the ring turn. And a different approach from Ben, making the most of that six foot five frame. Not using his legs. Now he's onto the second ring. Kicks those long legs up. There it is, the second lock. Now he's going to use those long limbs again to reach for the third and final ring. Nice. Oh, he has got it. He's off. He's done the ring turn oh, really, really quickly. And that leaves him time up his sleeve for the next obstacles. I am getting excited right now because I'm looking at the clock and I'm looking at Ben Polson's face. And he is in total control of this course. Flying to the second shelf. He's in great shape, beautiful rhythm. And now the last one. The dismount is perfect. You're on good time. Here he goes, Ben Polson, straight up the warped wall, on top of the warped wall. And with just over two minutes to go, three obstacles left. Make sure you're ready for this. Now the question is, how much has the first part of this course taken it out of him? What's he got left? He's taking a breather. He knows the clock is ticking. Here we go. 1.30 on the clock to go. Need to move your way through this nice and quick. He's locked and he's loaded. Up he goes, very carefully working his way around the Ferris wheel. Holding on nice and tight, it locks in. Oh, and this is where it gets scary, the transfer to the second wheel. Good work, Ben. He's been very smart, Beck. He needed to make sure that he had conserved his energy, that he had enough of it to get him through the Ferris wheel, and then he'll worry about the next two obstacles when he gets there. And I've got to say, he's looked extremely confident and capable through the last few obstacles. Here's the dismount. Off the Ferris wheel with around 50 seconds remaining, Ben Paulson has two obstacles to go. And how is the calming encouragement from Olivia Vivian? She's not getting stressed. She's not stressing him out. Focus. Just calm encouragement. Ben hits the yes. spider wall. He needs to be careful through here. We saw Bryson Klein slip away in the tunnel. And because he's six foot five, he looks very cramped, so perhaps a little bit trickier for him than other ninjas. But he's done it, and he's looking so good. He's timing this to perfection. Ben Polson is now at the final obstacle, the chimney sweep. 23 seconds on the clock. Up we go, the chimney sweep. Look at him go, that great strength, this amazing ninja that he is. He's up to six metres. 13 seconds, 11 seconds. Pops his head through the hole. Can be the first.